Hello guys, Luna here, welcome back to another PUBG console update. The latest patch notes are out for Xbox and PlayStation, and I'm going over what has changed in the latest update, including weapon balancing, map changes, and other stuff like that. So let's jump straight into it. First, the Tago featured map mode changes. Due to low players, they are closing the following modes from Australia, Oceania, and the South American servers. So they're getting rid of solos and duos. The care packages, they've increased the number of airdrops, so the normal crate will still be one, but small crates are now 5 to 15, and these have a chance to drop things like ammo, healing items, throwables, and supply items. There's also an item spawn increase, so the spawn rates have changed for the following. There's a stock decrease change of 1%, Stun Grenades have decreased by 14%, the Molotov has decreased by 3%, and they've increased the spawn rate of the AED by 37%. There's also new items added, the Emergency Pickup, C4, and the Spike Trap. Next, the Tego Secret Room. To enter the Secret Room, first obtain the Secret Room Key, which is randomly spawned somewhere on Tego. Once you have obtained the key, you can now find the Secret Room and enter. Inside the room, you can find the following things. Self-AED, scopes, supply items with low probabilities, and a large number of healing items and throwables. Next, emergency landings. The starting plane now has a random mechanic, which is called emergency landing. There is now a probability that the engine of the start plane will explode when you are on it. The emergency landing plane moves faster than the existing starting plane, but the fall height varies greatly, resulting in differences of fall distance from game to game. If you decide not to jump off the plane and you stay on it while it's crashing, you will start the match with only 50% health once the plane finishes its journey. Next, we have some Sandhawk updates. Northwest Island geographical improvements. So they've added small cliffs and rocks which can be used as cover in the South Beach terrain on the Northwest Island. To the Northwest Island template at the summit improvements, they've relocated the temple and they have removed the building which did not spawn items and replaced them with buildings which spawn items. They've also removed the cliffs and added covers and adjusted the angle of the rocks. To matchmaking, map rotations, Paramo has been removed and Karakan has been added from normal matches. So the current maps in rotation now are Erangal, Miramar, Sanhok, Bikendi and Karakan. Next, rank season 13 starting with honor based rewards. At the beginning of Season 13, all eligible players will be granted their Season 12 rewards, including nameplates and emblems, and available for the duration of the season. Honor-based rewards from Season 12 will be removed from the inventory with the start of the next season. The Season 12 Ranked Mode rewards, Season 12 emblems and nameplates. Players who played at least 10 ranked matches will earn an emblem and nameplate matching their end of season rank. Platinum tier and above receive an animated ranked emblem. Master tier will receive an animated nameplate. Top 500 players are rewarded with a unique animated emblem and nameplate, and honor-based emblems will now be shown on your PUBG ID and displayed to enemies when you successfully take them out, and emblems will also be visible in the death cam to spectators. Changes in Ranked Season 13 In Ranked Season 12, 3000 RP is the lower limit of the motion, and you can maintain Diamond Rank even if you don't play Ranked for 7 days or more. In rank season 13, RP demotion goes below 3000 RP, players with diamond tier or higher will be deducted 100 RP per day if they do not play ranked at least once a week. 100 RP reduction per day continues until the player plays ranked, it stops when they go below 3000 RP, and this means the deduction stops when you reach platinum 1. Diamond tiers cannot be maintained if not participated in ranked for 7 days or more. Next guys, weapon balance update starting with sniper rifles. The ballistics of the following sniper rifles have been buffed. Car 98K, including Julie's Car 98K, the Mosin Nagant, M24, and the changes, the muzzle velocity has increased between 20 and 25 meters per second, a slightly flatter trajectory, decreased drag, and increased damage coefficient at longer ranges. Also, there's a decreased bolt action delay, increased bolt action speed, earlier scope transition after bolt action, and increased fire rate. The following changes have been made to DMRs, increased bullet drop and damage coefficient at long range decrease have been applied on the Mini 14, QBU, SKS and SLR. Decreased damage coefficient at long ranges has been applied on the MK12 between 5 and 10%. To assault rifles, the effectiveness of the QBZ and G36C was falling off too hard at medium to long range when compared to other assault rifles. So the QBZ has had an increase in damage from 41 to 42 and slightly lower horizontal recoil. 
the G36 slightly lower horizontal recoil. To light machine guns, the DP28 was lacking in damage, so it has an increased damage now of 52 compared to 51. The M249 has reduced horizontal recoil during long bursts. And to submachine guns, the PP19 by Zahn has increased damage from 35 to 36. Next, sprays are now available. Sprays can be applied to most surfaces, excluding water, windows, vehicles and players. You can apply sprays at close range only and in most situations, including while moving or standing still, and sprays cannot be used in the lobby. They can be equipped and customised under the new emotes and spray tab, and each player can only have one spray displayed in the world at a time, with new sprays replacing previous ones. Next up guys, user interface and user experience improvements and starting with match results page improvement in game and lobby. So in game, after the victory screen, players who have survived can move around freely. If your team has won but you've been killed during the match in duels and squads, you will be able to watch your teammates celebrate and if the team wins while watching the death screen, it goes directly to the result screen. In lobby, you can check out your teammates stats, kills, assists and damage and it's supported in normal and ranked matches. Ranked result pages have been added, and this can also be checked in solos. Kill message improvements. Up to four actions can be displayed at a time, and they differ in color and effects, which makes it easier to distinguish. So the four different ones are down but not out, assists, kills, and team kill. Kills and assists counts now have animated effects, and if multiple actions were taken in place at once, up to four messages are displayed. What about quality of life improvements and starting with quick markers? The distance that can be used with a quick marker has been increased and it can be used in places farther away than before. Increase the distance to one kilometer, which was previously 300 meters, so that's a big increase, and now available in solo mode as well. You can share the location of vending machines with your squad mates using the radio message. Waypoints, increase the number of maximum waypoints from previous four to six. Auto equip attachments, so these will attach when the auto equip attachment with interaction key and the auto equip attachments from inventory are enabled and when the acquired item is attached and the slot for the attachment is empty. For notifications, item acquisition message and event message will now show. To the store, when purchasing an item from a fixed slot from the store, the slot will change to purchase now. Update the message displayed with Gcoin purchases and remove the move button. You can adjust the number of $99.99 G-Coins you wish to purchase, and spray items are also available. To performance, improve backend pre-pass system logic to slightly improve performance. And last but not least, bug fixes which are on screen right now if you want to pause and read through them. Guys, that then is the list of all the changes made in today's PUBG console update patch notes. Let me know what you think of the changes in the comments below. If you want to see more straight to the point update videos for PUBG and other shooter games, then subscribe and help grow the community. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time. Okay, bye.